hi beautiful and amazing people welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is amito mitra and i am speaking right from kampala uganda east africa for those of you watching me for the very first time you're most welcome kindly be a part of this very beautiful humble and amazing family by subscribing to my channel and also make it a point to like this video and all other videos that you'll come across on this channel and to the women watching this video happy international women's day to all of you i know by the time you'll be watching this video uh the day might have ended but just for you to know that you're so much appreciated continue being the virtuous women that you are your families your communities your nations the world at large appreciates every effort that you put in to make this world a better place continue doing what you do best and just for you to know that you're so much loved and will forever be loved today is a women's day and international women's day and i decided to do something so much in relation to what we are celebrating today so i decided to reach out to a friend of mine who is doing so well for herself and guess what she is making money from home I know so many of you guys have questions of what exactly she's doing, how is she doing it, and how can someone make money from home? And that is what I want us to go and find out. I am going to her place and I want us to know how she makes money from home. Just for you to know that every time I do a video, I have all of you people in mind. I want you people to learn one to two things from my videos. So in today's video, I hope that you people will learn a lot from her and maybe also adapt to what she's doing because yeah it is really making some good money for her so let's go and check my friend out she stays quite far from where i stay i think it will take me like an hour to get to where she stays but i'll get there anyway be a part of this with me i can't wait to see you guys when i get there see you in a few jet planes in the night sky with you Getting high in the sunrise with you Getting through all the bad times with you So guys, I am finally at my friend's place. It's been a very long journey, but worth it. I am finally here and I can't wait to turn the camera to her so that all of us um, shall see her and learn so much from her. So without wasting any of your time, guys, let me turn the camera straight to her. Maybe she'll tell us about herself before she gets into this whole chit chat with all of us. Ta da! Um, Hi! Hello, everyone. Amito, I'm so pleased that you finally came. I know, you know, people complain that my place is very far, but finally you've come and I'm so happy. Um, Ahura Susan, and um, I'm a lawyer by profession. Um, I'm an art lover. I love to create things. I only don't do art, but I love to create several things. I wish that I could do this Cause time moves on And now you're gone Oh, if only I could do this so Ahura, today is International Women's Day and first of all, happy International Women's Day. Thank you, you too. Happy thank Women's you too. to all the women out there. Sure, thank you. And um, today I thought about you because um, first of all, you're a woman and I wanted us to inspire so many women out there who are really trying to look for things that they could do to add to their income, mm. but in vain. Mm. You know, people feel like everything out there has been done and they feel like um the market out there is very competitive mm. so they want things that are that, that have not been done by so many people mm. and looking at what you do mm. this is something i i don't know so many people doing mm. i think you're the only person i know doing this plus the few that you have taught into this mm. uh, and i i'm very sure these are things that so many people out there would love mm. so i want us i want you to tell us your story how you kept because you told us you're a lawyer right yes i am a lawyer a professional lawyer yes did ldc i'm at, i'm actually at ldc waiting for results but oh, i wow. finished mm. wish you the best Thank you. so you are a lawyer and you are not out there in the office running around with files people's cases and all that um, i actually am um, i actually work um, mm. i work with a law firm mm. but uh, this is like my side hustle oh wow yes. side mm. hustle mm. Mm. okay mm. so 
tell us about your side hustle. People want to see it. People want to know about it. Um, but before we even get to it, um, how did you even think about it? This is something not anyone is doing out there. How did you even come come up with this? Why this of all things? Interesting. Mm. So uh, my story is when uh, I was at LDC, mm. and then after uh, then lockdown. Uh, happened. So it all happened. We had to go back home. That was 2020? 2019. 2019, yeah. Yes, I, I think that's when COVID hit. Yeah, it, it, it hit in 2020. Okay, like here in Uganda. Yeah, it was 20, 2020. It was actually 2020. Sorry At the beginning, that. yes. Yeah. Mm. So I was actually in my second term. Mm. And then we were closed. We had to go back to school home. Mm. So I was home doing nothing and uh, by that time you know we couldn't move and I was at my friend's place Rita. Yes, yes, yes. So I was there, I would wake up in the morning, sleep, wake up and I don't like to sit. Me, mm. I'm, I'm someone who doesn't like to sit. Mm. It's, it's That's not my thing. And uh, all the things that I would have thought of doing, I couldn't do because of the lockdown. Mm. So I went on my phone and then I went on YouTube. You know how you can be there, you're bored. Like, mm -hmm. ah, let me put how to make money uh, when you're home. Mm -hmm. You get it. Mm. And then they brought me very many, many things. So first I landed on uh, lampshades, how to make lampshades. Mm. I actually make lampshades. Mm. So then with time, I mastered it. Then with time, I landed on string art. Mm. So when I landed on string art, I took time. I watched several videos. I wanted to learn this thing. Mm -hmm. I'd never seen it here in Uganda. I don't know whether there are other people who do it in Uganda. Mm -hmm. I really don't know about that. But I took like two weeks to learn it. Oh, wow. I taught myself, even with the lampshades, I taught myself. I mm -hmm. had to watch what these people were doing. Mm -hmm. I said I can do it. Mm -hmm. With the lampshades, I started with balloons, these ones that um, they were for functions, but mm. those ones were not, they were not good. Mm. So with time I went on learning that like, I can use these other balls, these ones that the young kids usually use. Mm. So even with string art, I took time mm. to understand the material. I had to go make research. Mm. What material do they use? What boards am I supposed to use? Mm. What type of nails am I supposed to use? Mm. So actually, that's how it all started. That's where my journey for string art started. It started mm. from lockdown when I was there doing nothing. So mm. I was like, ah. I have to do something for myself. I can't be here. Mm -hmm. I need money. I need to buy things for myself. I'm a girl. Mm -hmm. I need to look good. I need to plate hair. So where am I going to get this money? Mm -hmm. you get it. Mm -hmm. I had to get something to do for myself. So mm -hmm. that's that's the origin of my string art journey. Okay. First of all, tell us how useful is this, guys. I'll I'll show you a sneak peek of what exactly she's doing right now. Mm -hmm. This is the piece that I found her making. Yeah. So tell us how helpful is this to the people watching us? So string art is this this is art. Mm. You hang it in your house mm -hmm. to beautify your house. Mm -hmm. Those um, it's an art piece I could say. Mm -hmm. So the good thing with this string art is if what makes it different from other art pieces for it it's it's made on board, as you can actually show them. Mm. This is a board. Mm. It's a board here. You can see it's a board. Mm. And then the strings are attached to the nails. You can see the nails. Mm. The, the good thing about this and what makes it unique from other art pieces, this mm. is something that is durable. It will never grow old. Mm. It will never tear. Even though it falls down, it will never break. Mm -hmm. It's some, something that you can gift to Anyone. it's very precious mm -hmm. you get it mm -hmm. it depends on what you want you know there are very many customers who come and tell you i want this i want this can you make this words pictures you get it you can actually show them this the sneak peek of this oh okay yes someone wanted that mm -hmm. for a hospital because for them they basically do work work with women and mm. children oh this is a woman holding a baby yes okay you can see. and this is a sign of love up yes. here oh wow yes mm. so this is they are very very nice mm. they are things that um last longer mm. 
and uh, it's something that you're not going to get tired of. Mm -hmm. You get it. Mm -hmm. And then I usually give chance to people to choose the colors that they want. Okay. It depends on the colors that someone wants. Mm. Me, I'm someone who likes black, gray. So if I make something with those colors, trust me, I'll like that thing forever. You get it. Mm. So that's what makes it unique. And they're very beautiful, by the way. Mm. Very, very beautiful. Mm. Yes. Tell us about your very first client. Okay, what what was your very first pick? I mean, uh, piece. Do you have it in pictures? I have it in pictures. I'll actually show you. It was okay. very funny. We shall put it somewhere here. Yes, here, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we mm. shall show it. It was very funny. Mm. But my first client is. Uh, can I talk about him? Yes, it's he's okay. Your friend. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, it's oh, your wow. friend. Mm. Uh, Okot. Oh, uh, the MP. He's a member of Parliament. <laughs> yes. um, so, He's the youth member of parliament, mm, Northern Uganda. Yes. Oh, oh wow. Mm. He was my first client. Then from then, I got another client who ordered. It was actually a shock. Mm. I had I started posting my things on Facebook. Mm. So there's a certain lady who contacted me and she wanted three pieces. Mm. I was like, I've just started doing these things. Mm. Ah, you know, I'd, I'd not yet those perfected those other techniques. Mm. But I'm like, I'm going to do it. So she ordered for three. Oh wow. Three 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 pieces. So mm. I I think I should talk about my first client of course. Oh yes, mm. yes, yes. Yeah, I'm I met Okot through you. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Mm. I remember it was a party then mm. um I I like to talk about my business. So mm. I told him I do this and this, like ah and he's very someone who likes to support people. Others, yes, yeah. true. So mm. he actually gave me a chance to support me mm. and uh, and to also give me a chance to see my work. Mm. You get it. I create my work, and then I, I. She, he actually gave me a chance of, ah, uh, gave me an opportunity to pride in what you do. Yes, mm. I could say that. Mm. Yeah. Oh wow! Mm. So first, tell us about the prices. Like, how do you charge? Uh, usually, I charge depending on the design mm -hmm. of the piece that mm. you want, and. Uh, it depends on also the size of mm. the board mm. because there's someone who will come he wants uh, this is now you can see this board it's yeah. a 50 by 50 okay. centimeter mm. but you can see the nailing mm. the nailing is really like there's this 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 like it has very very many designs mm. it's something that has two colors but you can see that design is a little bit complicated yes so that's that's how I base that's what I base on to charge people. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the design and then the size of the board. That size of the board can be small mm -hmm. when the design is complicated. Mm -hmm. So it depends. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's talk about your first client. When he purchased, how many did he purchase? He purchased one. One. How yeah. much was it? I sold it to him at eighty thousand. Eighty thousand. Yeah. I didn't know how to price then. I didn't By know the then. value. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And given that it was. Your very first yes, time. Yes, it was my first time. Mm. Mm. So currently, um, how much is each? Now this is a fifty by fifty. You said. Yes. How much can this go for? The fifty by fifty, I charge two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Yes. Mm. Mm. Do you have anything smaller than this? Uh, uh, for now, mm. I don't have. I don't have the 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 current pieces that I have. They're mm. all for two hundred and fifty. You can show them that one. Yeah, I'm going to show them. Yeah, that mm. one is also fifty by fifty. Mm. Then this one is as eighty by seventy. Then for the baby and the mama. Okay. Yes. Okay. Currently, I don't have small pieces. They are all taken. Okay. Yeah. So the 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 one you made for your first client was a smaller piece. It was a forty by forty centimeter. Oh, forty mm. by forty. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So tell us, do you always have designs, or clients come up with their own designs and send to you? I have designs. Mm. I have the art pieces that I've created myself that I show to clients, mm. but uh, a client can come and tell you, I want this, but I want it in string art. Mm. I, I give them the opportunity to, to select. To, to select. Mm. Then I also give them a chance to tell me what they want. Mm. If someone can want what there is another piece I actually have, it's more. It's a 40 by 40, I'll, I'll show it to you. Okay. It is for words. I've not yet finished it, but mm. yeah, mm. that's it. 
Okay, guys, um, let me first show you some of these pieces mm -hmm. and then we will be right back with very intriguing questions. <laughs> So, Ahura, I'm seeing some pieces that are incomplete. We've seen this one. Uh, first tell us, are these the orders that you currently have? Yeah, this one is just pending somewhat. Mm. Which one? This one? This one. Okay. It's, pen it's incomplete. Mm. It's pending somewhat down. When are you supposed to deliver this? Uh, I was supposed to deliver it uh, sometime, but, but the, my customer is the one who is the day to send the words. I don't know why, but okay. it was supposed to be sent a long time. Okay. But the words have been delayed to be sent. But this one is a, a complete piece, this one. Okay. It's a complete mm. piece. I, I don't know whether they can see it properly. Yeah, that's us see it. can see it properly. It's so pretty. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, just waiting uh, delivery. Yeah, this one is waiting delivery. All right. Done. Mm. Tell us about this. What is this? Ah, oh, this is a sample of a lamp shade. Okay. These are the lamp shades I make. Okay. This is the only piece remaining. Mm. It's catchy. It's catchy color. Mm. So these are the lamp shades. I first told you these are the things I started doing from lockdown. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So from these, I elevated to stream art. Okay. I'll tell you more about lampshades. Okay. So this one is an incomplete piece. Mm. Uh, I, the uh, the string art is basically geometric. Geome it's in geometrical design. Mm. But uh, as I was telling you, I don't the I I don't only do geometric mm. geometric designs. Mm. Someone can tell you I want words. Mm. You've just seen a mother carrying a child. Yes. Then this person wanted dare to dream big mm. the words this mm. is the word dare to dream big mm. but it's just not yet finished to mm. be threaded mm. it's only threading that is remaining okay now looking at that i've seen um i've seen so many nails mm. do you mind taking us through a very simple process oh okay let me take you through a sneak process mm. so after after getting an order i mm. just look at the colors that the person wants mm. i have to go look for them mm. so after getting the colors uh, i can show you the sample mm. this is how they look like mm. so after getting the colors and then i have to buy the boards mm. it depends on every board costs different depending on what size the client wants mm. so after buying the boards i have to go to to get the nails mm. and then after that after the boards are ready because some other clients like black they have to be vanished black or white anything mm. Mm. so after that um i mark mm. I, I usually have uh, first get that book okay so i usually i usually have a book here mm. so when a client makes an order I, now this is a different client those are diff it's just a rough design mm. i'm like i just put how many colors do i want like that 60 by 60 i usually make a plan this is mm. my rough plan mm. so after making the rough plan now when i have the board i do the marking mm. the marking i have a pin give me that now this is the pin I used to mark mm. because everywhere I've marked I have to put a, put a nail, so mm. I have to put a nail. So like this, I had to mark like this. I mark with this, mm. like the, all the all the, the the points of the nails. Mm. So after nailing, that's when I start threading. Mm. And this is ready. Mm. Yes. Mm. Okay. Oh wow. So um. We've seen you. You told me, but you've not told um, the people out there. This is your brother, right? That's my little brother called Smith. Hi, Smith. <laughs> so tell us, um, are you trying to teach Smith, or Smith taught you? Who is teaching who? <laughs> Let him tell you. No, um, I'm just actually starting out to learn. Today? Not today. Mm. I've done some pieces so far. Mm. Not so. Good. Okay. Yeah. Mm. But um, my sister here is trying to help me get to that kind of professional mm. piece mm. where you can make a piece and actually sell it out there on the market. Okay. Yeah. How has the journey been so far? It's not easy, honestly. I don't know how she she does. She makes it look so easy. Yeah. As you can see, I'm actually sweating. It's <laughs> Setting but, it uh, <laughs> at the end of the day, it's just mm. a nice piece that you have, mm. and beyond selling it, art is just beautiful. Art, mm. art selling art is nice, mm. making art is actually beautiful. So, mm. it may be difficult, but the product, the end product, 
really just put a smile on your face and mm. you forget all the difficulty. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's good. I'm so glad that you are putting your brother into this as well. Yeah. So have you taught any other people out there? Yeah. Mm. I, I've taught a, a guy called Newton. <laughs> I'll talk about him. It's okay. I'm very sure he'll talk about me someday. Okay. So that guy was making popcorn. It's a funny story. Mm. And uh, I felt he's a boy, he's at campus. I was mm. like, I think I can teach this boy to do this thing that he could actually make money. Mm. And he's actually very happy. He appreciates me all the time. Mm. He's, I'm sure he's making money. Mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. I've, I've actually talked to people. There's a certain lady who actually contacted me on Facebook. Then okay. I was also just learning. Okay. But uh, I taught her lampshades and then uh, string art. Mm. And she's happy. Mm. Okay. Good That's good. So, do you think you can teach other people who would like to learn this? Yes, uh, yeah, yeah, I yeah. can teach. Okay. Yeah. So now, tell us about some of the challenges that you've encountered doing mm -hmm. this. Mm. So, um, the first challenge is, mm. sometimes you can look for these specific nails and you fail to get them. Because, help me with that nail. Okay. This one? Yes. Okay. Getting this size is a bit hard. Okay. Sometimes you can send a boda boda guy with a very a specific nail. I want this. Mm. And then you fail to get it. And then the other challenge is um, sometimes the clients. Mm. The clients, when you tell them the colors are not there, they can't understand. Because getting co these specific colors in Uganda, it's still a challenge but mm. i try my best mm. at least if i have not g gotten that exact color i'll get something that is <laughs> close to mm. so currently this is a piece you're making right yes and um by the way how long do you take to deliver um it depends on how many pieces someone has ordered and uh, the design some mm. designs i can take like a day okay some designs i take like two days Mm. But at most, it can't go beyond three days. Okay, mm. that's good enough. It's three days because uh, it involves very many things. Mm. Yeah. But when the when the boards are ready mm. and the nailing is done, because mm. those are the most uh, hectic parts about okay. the string art. So, Ahura, are you going to also tell us uh, how beneficial this has been to you? Mm. Yes, how has this benefited you? Ah... <sighs> Thank God that you asked that question. Mm. Um, this string art has actually helped me, helped pay part of my tuition at LDC. Mm. That's the honest mm. truth. Like, it really, really helped. Yeah. And uh, we all know how the lockdown was. The, there's nothing to do, basically, your home. What else would you do? Mm. No moving, no art. But uh, as long as I would get access to my material, I would be able to do these things and, you know, borders would move by then. So mm. it has actually helped me be able to pay my personal bills. You know, being a young lawyer who is just fresh from LDC, you don't, yeah. you don't get a job in a law firm and you expect a lot of pay. Mm. I, all lawyers, all your young lawyers outside there can testify, I'm sure. Mm. So, but this side has really helped it. Um, I can be able to pay my bills, water bills, rent, electricity. So, very many, many things. So, I'm actually glad. I'm happy God that God actually made it uh, possible for me to learn these things. Mm. Yeah. Do you teach? Do you teach people? Yeah, I teach people. Mm. I buy the material. You you pay eight hundred thousand. But I buy the material and um, it depends on how fast you can learn. There are some other people who learn within a week, they are good to go. Yeah. Other people can take a month, you know, we all learn at different, different paces. Mm. So, yeah, I teach. Okay. Mm. Give us your last advice to everyone watching. Um, the fact that today is a women's day, I want to tell... All the women outside there, more especially the young ones. Mm. Mm. Speak English, you don't know In, that. <laughs> <In> English, <laughs> of course, I know. Mm. 
you shouldn't despise any kind of work. Mm. I, I'm a lawyer by profession. Mm. When you find me in a suit, you can't think I'm the one who does the string art. Mm. Actually, most of the people that have done string art, they ask, are you the one who does these things? They yeah. honestly can't believe. But thank God you've come to my work or place. Mm. At least you can test. They they will watch and believe. Mm. So, just just find out your strength in something. Me, I know I love art. I had to exhaust that part. At least mm. I utilize it. If you know you're good at uh, beauty, makeup, you have to make sure you discover yourself. That's mm. what and one thing I can tell all the girls outside mm. there. Try to discover yourself. Don't be, don't put yourself in that comfort zone. Or I have to get everything on a silver plate. You get it. You have to go outside there. Discover yourself. Discover your strength. What can you do? And and then go ahead. Just don't don't leave it at just discovering it. Yes, I'm good at makeup. Yes, I'm good at this. But can you go ahead and do it? Go ahead and do it. And then can it be able to earn you an income? If it's yes, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. Yes. And oh. pray a lot to God. Okay. Thank you so much. Do you also deliver to the clients out of Uganda? Ah, oh, actually yes. I I have clients who are abroad. They make orders, specific mm. order specifications. So I I make their orders. If it's abroad, I use DHL. Yeah. So wherever you are, you get your peace. Okay. Thank you so, so much for gracing our Women's Day. I hope everyone out there learned... I'm humbled. <laughs> I hope everyone out there learned one to two things. And um, thank you for giving us the opportunity to hear from you. And for those of you watching, in case you have any more questions about what she is doing, kindly write them down below. And trust me, she'll come and respond to all of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. May God bless you and bless you abundantly. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.